Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Satisfactory series. And as you can see, in between episodes, I went through and, you know, I kind of got tired of the whole orange base design. So I went through, I kind of changed it up a little bit. We'll talk about that later. Um, I kind of just made everything like a, a dark gray, blackish with white highlights. So I did some like... Some white highlights. I think I did white highlights on this. Did I not? I guess I didn't. Okay, well, I'll have to go back through and, and get all the rest of them. I think that looks so much nicer with white. Um, did that? Okay, anyways. Uh, so I figured we'd start off today by going back to the ma'am and getting some more stuff unlocked. Uh, so I should have the ingredients for everything here. And we should be able to get quite a bit of this unlocked. Again, don't really think that we're going to need any of this. Maybe the rebar gun, but I'm, I'm more interested in the whole uh, assault rifle that we saw the cartridges for we still haven't found the assault rifle i'm assuming we're gonna have to uh these yeah, yeah the the homing rifle ammo i'm assuming we're gonna have to unlock it somewhere in here but uh i don't know i haven't even seen a trace of it yet so i am not sure uh we'll go ahead hopefully finish up some of these we, we did finish nutrients, which I think is the first one we've completely finished now. Yeah, I completed. Uh, still not going to finish that one. Don't really care to. Uh, we might look into getting this at some point. I just don't really feel like making any of those crystal oscillators. And we are going to unlock this. So I think that gives us the ability to make those grenades. And maybe that's how we get rid of some of the... Uh, rocks that are on some of these nodes like i know we have a caterium node over here and the other coal node over here uh so other things that have happened in between the uh episodes i kind of went through I, I did a little design here i think it looks pretty nice uh like a little a cutout and even stuffed the um well first off i unlocked the uh tubes what are they called hyper tubes uh, just to allow me to kind of get back and forth between our, our previous main area and this area for now. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else uh, I did in between episodes. I don't think it's been too much. Oh, uh, the coal generators. So I went and I cleaned it up a little bit over there. I didn't like how messy it was getting over there, especially with all the other, um, the second row of coal generators that we have out there now. I felt that it was getting pretty kind of cluttered. Uh, do we have, we don't, we'll grab some more on the way back. So <clears throat> we'll go check out the coal generators and then we'll come back grab some modular frames we will plug up the uh drop ship that was over there get a new hard drive and then i saw another one in between our little bridge here over by where our steel production is that required some modular frames so we can go ahead uh we'll get those unlocked get those running going um and today I think we are going to focus on just getting a little bit of the oil production going uh, so that we start making some of the the plastics and rubbers and getting a little fuel maybe maybe messing around with some fuel generators um, and then I still really wanted to redesign our, our, our beginning area uh, so I brought everything underneath here and have it all feeding up and left space of course for the next set when we when we do unlock or get rid of that right there uh, and so all of them are now coming up directly in which leaves uh, so much more space over here 
and I brought the tubes closer and running in at a 90 degree angle so they're not hanging out over here um, and then I just moved the, the poles in really close to where it needs to be and yeah it looks really clean I'm very happy with the way this is kind of turned out obviously we'll replicate it over here once you get that next node unlocked um, I'm very I'm very happy with it, it looks so much better now it's so much more uh, clean I am noticing now that we with it clean like this we probably could have bumped the coal generators a little closer but I mean who really who really cares we had the space you know what they say if you got the space use it so I'm very new to the whole color stuff by the way uh, so as you can see some of the stuff I use the paint with like these which changes everything oh shit. uh everything i've already laid down and some of them i went through and painted on my own so that's why you'll see like most of this stuff is has the white kind of texture but some of the stuff back uh over here does not yeah you can see some orange over there uh i kind of got tired of going around and making sure everything was good with color but hopefully as we, we build and also I'm not messing with that right now because again I, I do plan on, on rebuilding all of this very shortly here. Uh, so I'm not really worried if it, if it kind of looks gross. Oh I guess it did change. What was the orange we were seeing earlier then? No idea. All right, but anyways, uh, we actually got, <laughs> of course, we don't have any cables, so we can't connect that one up to the power. Sweet. All right, uh, let's head over here. I forget exactly where it was, but I know it's in between the base and the steel area. Oh, we also got to get the encased steel beams going too. So we definitely, we have so much on our plate still, so much so much to do, not enough time to do it. Uh, and if I remember correctly, it was further back this way. Yeah, cause I was trying, I was trying to get this blue power slug and got stuck on the tree. Then I did something. I think I went over this way. Ah, yeah, it's right here. Now again, I have already collected the resources from over here, but it seems to just be continuously giving us uh, more screws and wires. I'm not sure why that is. I'm sure if I went back over to where our space elevator is, it's the same over there as well. Uh, this is one of the Caterium nodes that we have to blow up. Uh, and that'll bring it that'll get us a little more caterium. Uh, we might try and find like or use some of these Copper nodes over here and start doing copper sheets mix it with the caterium and start generating some AI limiters Off of that. Oh, I also strung up the wires all along the side here uh, Just to kind of get them off the ground make it look a lot nicer out here. Obviously, I couldn't do that for too much of the stuff you know what now that I'm actually looking at this and knowing where it's going we probably could have just brought it along the bridge here and then hooked it up I might do that in between episodes just clean that up a little bit um, and I also tried to do the lights in here so I brought the the power into here and try to do the lights but the lights are absolutely horrendous oh, I don't have the stuff for right now hold on the it like it doesn't work like you would think it would work it literally just illuminates a small little patch on the ground this big ceiling light if we plug this in and of course we don't have a wire the whole reason we ended up coming back here is we're out of wires all right anyways yeah that's what it does that little time it doesn't really reflect much either 
Like, literally, underneath the light isn't even lit up. I'm so confused by this. Anyways. Um, let's go ahead and get this hard drive set up. So, I, I've been thinking about doing some mods. Um, I know there is mods out there. I'm not sure the extent of the mods, but I'm wondering if there's a, a mod to make those lights work better. And I'm kind of hoping there is. So if you guys, uh, if you guys want to see some, some mods or you have any suggestions for mods to add to the series, go ahead and post it down in the comments below. Uh, and I'll definitely give them a look. I'm not sure when I'm going to incorporate any mods or if I will. Uh, but I definitely might install the, um, like the mod launcher, I guess is what you would call it. And just check out what some of the mods have to offer. Now, I'm not looking to fucking completely revamp the game with new materials and new this and that. Like, I, I want to keep it a, a, you know, a pretty stock experience. I'm looking more of, for like a quality of life changes. Ah, here's the other one. And I think this one just required, what was it, 25? 40 megawatts. That's too easy. Too easy indeed. Uh, except if we don't have the materials required for a telephone or a, a pole, which I don't think we do. <sighs> I'll be right back. And just like that, we are back with the, the correct materials this time. Imagine that. All right, let's go ahead and get this. Can I just? No, okay. Sounded like it was gonna work. Wait, did it work? Oh, okay, it did. All right, even though it, oh, it does show, it's just in the ground. Wait, what? Okay, whatever. It worked. Don't care. So we have our second hard drive ready to go. And again, I'm hoping, uh, I guess I'm not hoping, hoping for the uh, pipes to encase steel beams because I'm pretty sure I saw somewhere that we're going to need more or steel beams for st other stuff. So maybe it ends up being that we uh, we actually don't have enough steel beams as it is, or pipes, sorry. But for now, should be fine. Uh, also, one of the things that I want to get automated is heavy uh, the uh, the heavy modular or not heavy modular uh, modular frames. Maybe heavy modular frames too. I forget how to make those. We might be able to just throw those in somewhere. Um, one of the things I've noticed, though, is that. Oh, you're not. Done. Yeah, okay. Uh, throw you in here for now. One of the things that I've noticed is that with everything running like it is, like the Caterium stuff over there, we uh, we're using quite a bit of power, and we constantly use a bit of power as well. Like, right now. We're at about 600 watts, megawatts, uh, about 550. Uh, so, I saw 600 there. Uh, but anywhere between 500 and 600 megawatts. So like two thirds of our uh, equipment is online and operational almost at all times. Uh, so I guess it's not that big of a deal that it's all. I'd rather it be making stuff to get us further. But we really need to unlock Mark Four belts. Like, really, really need to. Um, which is why, starting off today, we are going to work on this. So, the refinery. Uh, we need 10 motors. 
motors is something we have to um, start automating. Like, definitely, definitely. I can tell that they're going to be used quite frequently. Alright, uh, do we have enough for like two or three of these? We do. We just need 30 motors, which is going to require 60 rotors, and then we're going to have to make the stators as well. Uh, and I believe the stators was pipes and wire. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to make these motors, and after that, I will see you guys back. We're also going to have to make the oil extractors, actually, which is going to require even more motors. So I'm just going to make a, make a bunch of motors here. And I will see you guys back here when that's all done. Alright, so went ahead, made some... Made 83 motors, to be exact. Uh, we have a bunch of materials. We should have enough for everything here. Uh, we might want to grab, what do we have? We have, we have more concrete. We have, we have tons of concrete. Uh, I'm going to grab some more of these because I'm assuming it's a liquid and we're going to have to, uh, maybe make a water extractor. I have no idea. I'm going to, I'm just going to bring a bunch of stuff anyways, just in case we end up having to come back. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna grab. Do I have Caterium? I do. Where is the reinforced iron plates? And do we have. I'm gonna grab some more of these. And some of these. We have some steel beams. I, I, I don't. Like, like I said, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here, so. We're just gonna we're gonna go over there. We're gonna try and get something set up. Trying to figure out what all everything needs. Um, see if we can't get a little bit of a base going here. I wouldn't say a base, just a little a little setup. Start getting some plastic, some rubber going. So that next episode we can stop by and and maybe use it for some stuff, unlocking some stuff in the ma'am or something like that. Uh, so. I know the crude oil is over here at the beach. I just don't remember how far it was. I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. I literally don't even know where you're saying that from. I feel like that's why they, uh, I was like, oh, another crash. No, it's just the same one. Uh, I mean, that's why they add the, the voice lines to everything, though. Is so that you know that there's something near you. Maybe, possibly. I am not sure. Uh, it's definitely not going to be near us, though. So I will cut back to when I do end up finding the crude oil again. I think this is it right here. Yeah, crude oil. Ow. So something else we're going to have to worry about is getting power out here. That is definitely going to be a thing. Oh yeah, we're using pipes here. Okay. So you produce 240 meters cubed per minute. And I'm assuming you go straight into a refinery. I'm a little nervous by this extra thing right here.
Okay, so we can make plastic with res heavy re oil residue, rubber with heavy oil residue, or we can make polymer resin, which is that blue stuff, which we can then mix with water to make the plastic. And this also gives us fuel. It requires 60 per minute. Okay. Oh man, this is going to be uh, quite the little setup over here, huh? So, 60, 120. 180 240 Oh boy Okay That is a lot of fuel We could turn the heavy residual fuel into fuel as well. Okay. That requires 30 per minute to make plastics. This also requires 30 per minute. Okay. How much does this use? 60 per minute. So we could have three of these running into one to make 40 per minute. Or we can just straight up make 40 per minute with 60. With the price of two, we get 40. Instead of the price of three, we get 40. But then we also get polymer resin, which requires 60 per minute, and this only makes 30 per minute. Oh, man. Oh, no, not the right recipe. What about this? It requires 40 per minute. This makes 10 per minute. This makes 20 per minute. This uses 60 per minute. Oh. This hurts my brain. Can we make a... No, we don't have the fuel generator unlocked, do we? What is this up here? What is being locked up here? Nothing. It's a thing. Okay. I, I don't really care about that. We have those tanks, don't we? Fluid buffer. So... If we have this, this, that's 20 per minute. Then we can have these two as rubber. That makes our 60 per minute.
Just checking. These do at least do 300 per minute again. Okay. And we don't need to worry about inputs because we literally just need crude oil. I'm done with trying to make that lined up. Okay. So you making plastics, you making plastics, you're making rubber, and you're making rubber. That requires 30, 60, 90, 120. So we could literally double this again. Uh, okay. In the crash over there. Wreck. Now, let's get a fluid buffer. to here uh can i can i still fit a conveyor no not cleanly oh okay um All right, give me a second. I am going to get all of this onto a platform. Ah, uh, the video was paused. I I built everything without power I don't know when I uh when I didn't unpause it so let's get <laughs> okay. I'm the worst all right moved everything over made a new platform color coded this because it's orange now because it's oil now I need to go back and color code the other one to let it know let us know it's water all of this comes into here makes the two plastic two rubber which then gives us 60 residual fuel left which means your boy is got a color I hate this gotta color this purple So we know this is residual oil. Oh, once we get this all colored in. Cool. Now that gets turned from heavy residual oil into fuel. Orange is fine for fuel. Uh, and gets stored in these fluid buffers. I also, while I was doing this, realized why we need that packager, and it's because fluid is a or fuel is a liquid, 
And in order to use the jetpack, we're going to have to turn that into bottled with fuel or fuel cans. Um, also set these up so that everything kind of goes up here. Plastics and rubber all looking nice and neat out here. Now we got to connect it to power to make it work. However, we don't have power out here. So I will be right back once again. Hopefully forget or remember to unpause the recording this time with power all right may try and pause this time listen we're learning we're learning and we're, we're doing we're doing we're doing better okay anyways let's get to wiring everything up here uh, if we stick you here and one here, and then we upgrade you to a Mark II. How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? And power you. And then we just bring you right here and power you. What's our power looking like? Uh. 1169 max consumption not bad you all should be getting some crude oil it sounds like crude oil too i don't even know how you managed to do that or how i know what crude oil sounds like but it definitely sounds like crude oil okay oh that's the stuff right there Now, I am concerned how quickly we're going to fill these up. Because once these get filled up, we, uh, we're going to stop making rubber and all that stuff, which is kind of an issue. But it doesn't look like it's filling up that fast, to be quite honest with you. Why does that look like water? But it says we have zero in here. I get the feeling these aren't connected. Okay. Leave a small gap then. Kinda sucks that we can't make it look clean like that, but... What about now? There we go. At least it says fuel now. Okay. So I really want to know what it's going to take now for the fuel generator because that will be a great way to burn off fuel. Again, we can we can double that that entire setup right there. Produce twice as much resources of both. Um I just saw that one of the issues that we we're going to have was the the fuel. Also don't put wire poles in the water. That's just a dumb idea, okay? I did it because... Well, to be quite honest with you, because it's the easiest solution. Um, don't do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, we can double that entire that entire system there. And be making 80 cubic meters of fuel per minute. Um, I just don't know how much 
a fuel generator is going to require. Now we, well, I'm going to head back here and I'm going to see what it takes to even unlock the fuel generator. And we should also probably look at the, the fuel packaging so we can start getting some fuel for that jetpack that we, uh, we unlocked extra early somehow by accident. Um, so we'll go ahead and get that done. We'll see, hopefully it tells us how much the fuel, the fuel generator uses. And hopefully we can make whatever the resources we need for that uh, quick enough before our fluid buffers fill up. Alright, so we need expanded power infrastructure. Consumes fuel to generate electricity for the power grid, has pipe in so input so the fuel could be supply can be automated. It requires a hundred computers. In order to get computers, we need two hundred of each. And then who knows what is required to make a computer. Um, we have 29 now. Can we just buy them? No, not yet. We might be able to later. Ugh, but that's going to be a lot. Even if it's only one coupon. Still a lot. Shoot. Maybe it's worth unlocking this first. Getting a few of these down and start packaging some fuel. That might be the way to go. It looks like this has a pipe on it, so I don't know if we would have to unpackage it before. Or if like when you package it. Use for pa oh, unpacking. Okay, so unpacks fluids as well. Uh... Twenty four hundred cubic meters instead of what do we have right now? Four hundred. So two thousand more cubic meters of fluids. That's pretty big. That is pretty big. Oh you know what? We can just if we don't have enough plastics by then, we can just flush the uh the fluid buffer. That kinda be a waste of fuel, but we can always just flush it. Um, so I don't think we're going to have enough time to start that whole project over there today. As much as I would like to. Uh, but we should be able to set up a system over here. Or in case industrial steel beams. We can get those going. Uh, we should... <laughs> We really need to get rotors done too, but that will probably be, uh, maybe next episode we'll blow that up and start getting stators made and then just push it straight into rotors. Um, let's see, how do I want to do this? We're going to need an AI limiter. I also don't like how that clips into there. Not really a fan of that. All right, give me a minute to kind of sketch out how I want to I want to do everything here. Let me get the resources and then uh, I will be back and we'll get to we'll get to building this whole thing. All right, so uh, I kind of have an idea of what I want to do now. Uh, I've done a little bit of the math. Uh, we're going to need both of these limestones. I could upgrade this to a Mark II. Uh, I don't think I will. 
And then we're gonna need this one as well, which means we gotta clear out these guys. Get this out of the way. Never mind. Alright. Breaking news. So widespread chaos and mayhem. World president. I literally I don't even know where that that is is coming from. Alright. Damn, this thing takes forever to fucking break. Ooh. Why are you here? Why are you over here? I'm trying to do something here. I hear the thing. That's why we're being attacked. Hello, this is paternal figure. I have taken ill and need I'll your be help quiet. to find a cure. Doctors okay. say that the only remedy is alien artifacts. All right, so let's go ahead and get this. Wired up over here. Over to here. They don't want to be clipping in the ground. I did literally just get rid of all of this hillside shit too, which is kind of crazy how I'm already back to putting more there, but whatever. Okay. So I, I laid these down just, just to help me kind of make sure everything was level. And in line. Now it's just a matter of connecting what we already have. Okay, so all of these are going to be our concrete. One of those is a normal node, one of them was in pure, so we should have 90 coming in. Oh, it's so dumb. That looks dumb. Why am I like this? Like I literally sit there and plan it out for a good 10 minutes. And despite all of that, still manage, still manage to sit here and do this shit wrong. It's literally a skill at this point. You go here, you go here, you go here. Now, concrete. Concrete. Okay, I... There is... There is so much I would like to say about my ability to fuck shit up in this game. <laughs> but I'm not saying it. Okay, so we have our concrete coming in here. Which needs to go into an assembler. Which would be this right here. Conveniently, we're just going to place that there. Now for this... I'm going to have a Mark 1 lift. Should I just go in just like that? Into a smart splitter over here. Into Mark 1 lift. Into all right there our right output is going to be overflow which is overflowing right now and you are going to become a case steel beams now we only need 24 per minute we're making a lot more than that but we are kind of limited by our concrete production here 
Um, you are going to go here. And I'm just going to upgrade you to a Mark II. So we don't have to deal with this. Go here. Go here. And you are going to make six per minute. Which is then just going to go here. And into there. Now, I was going to say barring I did everything right, but we never turned on, okay, we didn't turn on the miners. So now I get the lovely job of bringing my poles back across where they already were. But we also never connected that one. Like, genuinely, it's a skill to be as bad at this game as I am. Like, it's really not even that hard of a game. For whatever reason, I just can't figure it out. Okay, you connect to here. So we should have, hold on. Just take the limestone that I inevitably have in my inventory. Go ahead and start sending that through. Oh, it's going to take forever. Alright, I'll be right back when the, uh, the, the, uh, the sand, limestone, holy shit, when the limestone makes it to over here and we can start to see this thing going. And four years later, we have finally made limestone into concrete. All right. So, you know, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, we definitely could overclock this to 200%. I just have these two. Oh, well, whatever. It's good enough. Uh, so obviously we're already full on on steel beams. The rest of the concrete going in. And we should see with this one right here, our first fabricated encased concrete beam. God damn, that thing takes forever. Okay, there it is. And with that, my friends, that is going to do it for this episode. Peace.